Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. So this is a follow-up to the previous videos that I've done on what I've been doing since NiceHash has gone down. And in the previous video I showed that um, Zencash appeared to be the most profitable coin for me to mine. And th while that has been really good and I was using independent pools to do that, I stumbled across MiningPoolHub.com. And I wanted to put this video out because I find that this website, this pool, allows you to do something very similar to NiceHash. And I know there are a lot of other alternatives out there. Um, there's Awesome Miner, which you can use with multiple pools. There is um, MinerGate, which is really nice. Um, and then there's a couple others. But here's the thing with those alternatives. They all pretty much require you to have individual wallets for each of the coins that you mine. So if you're using a feature like auto switching or um, like Awesome Miner will, will mine the most profitable coins for you just like NiceHash used to, um, but all of your profits will go into your wallet for that coin, right? So if you're mining Zencash, you'd need a Zencash wallet. If you're mining Zcash, you'd need a Zcash wallet. If you're mining Ethereum, you'd need an Ethereum wallet. If you're mining Monero, you need a Monero Vertcoin and so on. It just, the list goes on and on. It becomes very difficult to keep track of all of that. Not to mention the fact that you're going to be hit with a number of exchange fees. So even if you had all of your crypto going to say one exchange like Bittrex or something like that. So you set up each of those individual wallet accounts on Bittrex. Um, you're going to get very small fractions of each coin at different stages throughout each day. And that can become very cumbersome and ultimately could be very expensive to try and exchange that for what we all really want, which is Bitcoin. At least that's what I want. I want to, I'm not mining this stuff just so that I can have, you know, a, a handful of each coin. I'm mining it so that I can ultimately trade it all up for Bitcoin and then reinvest Bitcoin because still to this day, Bitcoin is king. And I, I wanted to show you what I've got on Mining Pool Hub here. First of all, it's a real nice dashboard interface uh, which shows you your hash rate. Um, it shows you your recent transactions and um, it does it for several different coins. Take a look here on the left. Here are all the different pools that they offer. Everything from ads coin aurora coin bitcoin all the way down to zen cash that's what caught my attention because if you remember the previous video it was zen cash that was bringing in the highest amount of profit so i thought let's look at this because um the other coin that i wanted to look at was vert coin i have a gtx 1080 and that's particularly good for the equihash algorithm which is um Zcash. It's also very good for uh, Crypto Knight, which is Monero. And then it's also very good for Vertcoin. And all of my um, research on Vertcoin, especially the, the Lira 2 Revision 2 algorithm, all of those coins were paying out the most. And Vertcoin, even though it's up and down every day, it's a, it's a very volatile co uh, coin currency, but um, it still consistently pays out the highest amount anywhere from three to I've seen it as high as like seven dollars maybe even there was another one out there that was around eight dollars which was a little silly but vertcoin has been pretty consistent um, between the three and six dollar realm I would say to play it safe and um, I'll take that even the average would be fine on that because it's still higher than Equihash it's still higher than Zencash um, so it makes the most sense for me to start mining that vert coin. So that's what I've been doing, and uh, that's what this page is. Now, this is showing you my current hash rate, but like all of these mining pools, there's there's always a little bit of discrepancy between what your actual hash rate is and what the miner uh, or the mining pool um, shows you. So my actual hash rate is pretty much a consistent 40 mega hashes. So I can plug that in in my um, uh, calculator here and at 40 uh, in this case um, this is 40,000 kilohashes which is 40 mega hash um, my pool fee is 0.9 percent okay 
and I'm going to take off my wattage and, and uh, whatnot because I, that's not something that I have to worry about here. Um, and if I calculate the cost, you'll see that I can expect about uh, $4 a day. So already we're above the $3 low point, um, uh, but not quite to the $6 because that's just based on the value of the coin, right? So um, $123 per month, which is actually quite good. It's better than what I can expect to make with Zencash. With Zencash, I was mining, um, and let me just pull this up real quick. Um, with Zencash, uh, 466 mega hash. So if I plug in just the 466 here, all right, it's the same 0.9% mining fee. We'll calculate that, and we'll see that it's only $95. So 95 versus 123 it's a nice increase here okay uh, it's about twenty dollars uh, increase and that's totally worth it to me to switch it to vertcoin so what I did was through mining pool hub um, they hooked me up with the CC miner and I downloaded the CC miner now keep in mind a CC miner is pretty much what nice hash was using behind the scenes anyway especially for um, these types of algos so when you're looking at crypto night when you're looking at uh, lira 2 rev 2 uh, and a couple of the other ones in fact cc miner can do everything from ethereum i think it does like 12 or 15 i'd have to look up the um the stats on it but it does quite a number so you can configure cc miner to do a lot of your mining for you uh, which makes it like a one-stop shop more or less so that way you don't have to run all different types of miners you can pretty much just configure um, CC miner to work for whatever coin is best on your card so in my case vertcoin and um, you set it up to uh, mine over here uh, and it's really simple you go here to getting started all right and then it will explain all that you need to know about how to get this pool working for your card all right so um, here's the host address here's the port blah 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 it's it's pretty simple um, and right here it says um, create a vertcoin address to receive payments download the client and blockchain download the vertcoin client so you can even get your own vertcoin wallet right from here they'll hook you up with that it makes it very simple um, if you want to get the um, uh, what do you call it like here we go to the fac if you want to get um, the miners you can go to the fac page here and you'll see um cc miner lets you switch they, they have this is something that's oh here they are okay here's all the uh, algorithms that, that are supported um so this works really well but i don't know where the link is for cc miner see it gives you these three options here multiple miner awesome miner and nemo's miner um, i have worked with awesome miner i'm just not a fan of it I like the idea of the auto switching because that's kind of like nice hash, but at the same time, um, I would much rather just stick with one tried and true profitable coin and just mine it to death. All right, it makes the most sense to me. Um, yeah, you're going to see daily fluctuations. It's going to happen all the time, but if you keep up after it every few days or every week, if you make a you know make make sure that you schedule a day where you just check on things. Um, I think that you'll be in really good shape with just sticking with the one coin um, and just hold on to it at least you know on a month by month basis you would say you know it seems like you know uh, Nvidia is moving more towards the Equihash algorithm okay fine you go over that way but for right now um, vertcoin seems to be it at least on my GTX stuff uh, let me show you um, where else you can download here's CC miner so everything's on the fact page okay I mean seriously just go to the fact page and look this is how simple it is for each of the algos they already give you what you need to set it up you just make a, a quick batch file mine's called start.bat copy this in put your username and your worker name there and that is it start it and it will start mining for you. Um, the other thing that you would want to check on, of course, are your temps. Make sure that you're using, like I use um, the built-in, actually I, I downloaded this for my Strix. Uh, this is just an overclocking tool, but for me, when I'm mining, I, I underclock it. 
So right now my power usage is way low. In fact, I'm not even mining right now, but this will be at a steady 70 degrees uh, when I'm mining. And that's because I have the temp set here actually at 67. So it's a little bit of a threshold, but it look, it automatically drops the power down to negative 38. So I don't want to blow out my card, if you know what I mean. I mean, this is my daily driver. I still use it for productivity and gaming and stuff like that. So I don't want to stress the card too much, even though I know it's capable of a lot more. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to show you this as a really good option, um, a, nice, a nice alternative to nice hash. Let me show you my Zencash stuff here. Um, this is, here's my dashboard. All right, so you can see here I got 0.67 kilohash. So that's about 60. I, I was, when I tested my Zencash figures for the Equihash algorithm on all of my cards, I was somewhere in the neighborhood of about 700 mega hash, right? So if I switch that out here, 700 hashes, um, we'll calculate that. And you'll see here that's that should bring in about 140. So between the 125 on Vertcoin and 140 on Equihash, um, I should be doing really well. Um, 260 a month is not bad. Uh, in fact, 260 a month is enough to, I mean, certainly justify running these cards most of the day, uh, three of which are full-time cards. Um, and then who knows, you know, maybe at the end of each month, I take that, go to Newegg, use my Bitcoin and buy a new graphics card and just keep on adding on to the miners, you know, so they've basically paid for themselves and then some. Um, one thing I wanted to point out, and this is especially important, this is really the, the central issue, okay? NiceHash paid you in Bitcoin. Well, guess what? Mining pool will also pay you in Bitcoin. All you have to do is set up your auto exchange. So you click on the auto exchange and you choose which coin you want to be paid in. It's that simple. As soon as you determine what coin, then you click on the pool here, so Bitcoin, all right? You click on your wallet, all right? You put in your Bitcoin wallet address. You put in your automatic payment threshold. So for me, it's 0 .001. That, mind you, is the threshold that we used to have on the internal wallet at NiceHash. It was 0 .001 Bitcoin. So right now, uh, with Bitcoin at uh, 14,600, that would be 146, or I'm sorry, that would be $14.60 roughly. Um, so as soon as I hit that threshold, it automatically deposits into my, uh, my Bitcoin wallet. All right, and in the meantime, behind the scenes, if we go to balances here, you'll see what's happening is that I've got these three coins here, Bitcoin at the top because that's the one I'm getting paid in, but Vertcoin here uh, is, uh, constantly adding up all of the coins that I mine. Same with Zen Cash. All right, and then what it does is it um, debits them out of the Vertcoin wallet and puts them into the exchange, and then ultimately over into the Bitcoin wallet. So you can see here right now I'm sitting at point. Now I've only been doing this for a day, but like you can see already it's a decent amount. You know this is like six six dollars or something like that, but um, for a day and a half worth of mining, not bad. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's really simple to get this started. They give you all the tools you need. Just go to miningpoolhub.com, click on the FAQ button. Um, setting up an account is very simple too. You don't have to like you know supply all kinds of information. You just want to pick a username uh, because that's how you use CC Miner is with your username. And then um, I've, I'm also using Claymore Miner um, over here. So let me show you some of my other operations. This is actually Claymore. Uh, and it's very simple to set it up. Um, let's see, that's my, my, let me show you the um, start file for it because here it is, the Zcash AMD GPU miner. You can get this right off of GitHub. Uh, just make sure you're using the latest version, 12.6. Um, and and, th and this is only for the AMD cards, by the way, but um, let me show you my start file. Pretty simple. Uh, Zekminer64, Zpool, and I'm using the secure channel here, which goes to equihash-hub, mining pool hub, and it, this is all provided right on the page. So if we go to the Zencash page and go to getting started, it will give you um, what um, addresses that you need to use. So for me on the East Coast, this is what I'd be using right there. Um, 
it's really very, very straightforward. So you can set it up for multiple miners, although the CC miner really does appear to be the one-stop shop. I still recommend Claymore on the AMD side because it's, especially if you're using the um, the drivers that you're meant to, the uh, the, the 15.2 or whatever it is, drivers. Not that I'm, act I'm not actually using that. I probably could get a little bit better performance out of it, but since these machines are also being used, um, so here's three of them basically um, that are running that Claymore. Uh, and you can see the stats on here. So right here is about 0.67 kilohash. But like I said, it's, it's actually like 700. So this is, this is a little off, not by much, but just a smidge. Anyway, um, I hope that you found this helpful. If so, give me a thumbs up. If not, well, hey, thumbs down. But uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions. I mean, what are you guys doing right now? What has been your best alternative for NiceHash in the, the last few days? I'm curious to know what you've been doing. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking out this video. Happy mining. Peace.